Hello there, this is Peter Beckenham. Today I want to talk to you about Amazon S3. Now, for most of us, okay, we normally use a place like YouTube to host our videos. Okay, we do that all the time, okay, and most people do. And it's a great site. And it's really good for traffic because it's linked up to your Google Plus account. Okay, and those things are very important, no doubt about that. But there are occasions when YouTube or Google, whoever is running the thing, can close down your video, or even worse, close down your account, and you've got no control over it. So I just wanted to share with you an alternative place, not to replace YouTube, I'm not saying that, but another place you can use is called Amazon S3. Now it's not free like YouTube, but it costs you cents per month. I mean, it depends on how many videos you got up there and how many views you're going to get to it. I mean, if you're getting a million views, it might cost you $10, right? But if you're just getting a few views, maybe a thousand views or something, it's not going to cost you much at all. So I thought you might find it helpful if I showed you how you go about using Amazon S3. Okay, let me check it out. So first of all, you go to that website, aws.amazon.com, and you click the sign up button there. That's pretty simple. Just take you through that. Now we've already done that. So I'll go under my accounts and go to, once you've signed up, you do the same thing, AWS Management Console. Now it'll probably ask me to sign in again. Yes, it is. All right. Now, here's a page. Don't be put off by this. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of information on it, but we're only going for one place. Come right down here to S3. That's all you need to worry about. And click S3. All right. Now, it's asking you to create a bucket. A bucket is like a folder where you can put a whole lot of videos into it if you want to. And we've got one bucket already created, OMP, but for the sake of this training video, I'll create a bucket. Now, the bucket name, we'll call it uh, Video Tips. And the region. No, it doesn't matter much. US standard, it could be anywhere. It doesn't make a lot. Korea. Ah, hang on. I can't have I can't have a space in there. How about that? Video tips. Right, there we go. Video tips. Now the bucket's empty, of course we just created it. So what we need to do now is upload. And we're going to add files. Okay, looking for a video I created about like, here it is, name chip and emails. So click open and then start upload. Okay, now I'll just pause the video until it while it uploads. Okay, so now the upload's done, but we haven't quite finished yet. What we need to do now is click on the properties of this uploaded video to Amazon S3. Okay, and you'll see at the top there a link. But before we do that, just check. First of all, the details. Standard and none, that's fine. Just make sure you don't click reduce redundancy or AES256, whatever that is. Click save. The key thing is coming down here to permissions. Now, you've actually got to um, add more permissions. First of all, make sure you've got info, open downloaded viewing permissions, but then click add more permissions. And in the drop down there, you'll see everyone. Click everyone and click open download. And then come down further and click authenticated users and click open download. Now, by the way, the info may not be info in your case, it will be whatever your um, email address um, prefix is. Ours was info at Tysook Magic. So that, but it's you, so you have the, you in the first one, then everyone, you will have view permissions and open download. Everyone under the permissions can open and download. 
and authenticated users can open and download. So once you've done those, and again, don't ask me why, this is technical and I've told you before, I'm not technical, I just follow instructions from the expert. So then you save those permissions. And I think that may be all. Just check under meta. What we've got to do is this. We've got to change the content type and put in vid video forward slash mp4. Okay. That's what you need to put in there under content type. Video forward slash mp4. And then save to watch the video. Anyway, so once you've done that with the permissions and the metadata, then there's the link at the top that you can give people to access your video. And really, that's it. Okay? So I hope you found that helpful. Okay, until next time, bye for now.